Lunch here on Kids Place Live. It's me, Jack, coming to you straight out of the Kids Place Live cafetorium. The space is like half cafeteria, half auditorium. So we serve up a delicious and nutritious three-course meal for lunch. Then we clear this room out, and we're going to have an assembly later on today after hot lunch. But right now, it's time for a very special installment of a segment we like to call... Mystery Me. That's right, it's Mystery Me. We're serving up an unexpected protein here on Kids Place Live. Uh, ordinarily, that protein has a name like Salisbury Steak or Cheese Zombie. But today, that uh, protein has another name, also the name of a food. But in this case, the name of a person. Audience, make some noise for Kids Place Live's own Scrambled Mags. Hello, buongiorno. Buongiorno, va bene, Scrambled Mags. I'm so glad you're here. What is Italian for scrambled eggs? Do you know? A scrambled eggs. Yeah. Okay, wait. Hang on. Uh, Vamp, tell us um, uh, tell us your favorite Jonas brother in depth while I look this up on Google Translate. Uh, my favorite Jonas brother is Kevin Jonas. He's the oldest Jonas brother. He plays the guitar. He doesn't really sing that much, but he has the best hair. He's um, a dad. He is a husband. He is um, a computer guy. He has a tech business. Um, he loves the color purple, um, he was born in New Jersey, he lived his adult life in Texas, and then he moved to California, um... <laughs> We just opened up the floodgates. I needed like, I needed eight seconds of Googling, and uh, we have just found ourselves in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean of Jonas Brothers facts. Wow. I just spitballing some facts that I had off the top of my head. Amazing. I mean, that's just the, the surface level. I know that that well goes deep, and we're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, but first, scrambled eggs in Italian uh, is uova strapazzate. Uova strapazzate. <laughs> Strapazzate. Uh, so let's do this again uh, in Italiano, sort of. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, como se dice uh, buongiorno a uh, uova strapazzate. Oh, no, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Oh, great. Mamma mia. Or buonasera, depending on which one of the time zones you're listening in. Okay, great. Well, scrambled bags. I know that the Jonas Brothers, and one in particular, weigh very heavily on your imagination, but I want to put you right now into a theoretical situation in Mystery Me and see okay. how you would answer this question. Okay, I want you to imagine. Uh, go ahead and put on your imagination outfit. Here we go. Okay. Doo -doo 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 you are standing in the lobby of New York City's Empire State Building. Going up, wow. you press the, actually you ask the bell hop, who, who runs an elevator? The uh, elevator attendant? Okay, very good. Do you ask the, I hope the bell hop isn't running the elevator. In fact, actually for this premise, the bell hops is standing in for the elevator attendant and presses the top floor button. But there's a little problem, Scrambled Megs. Bellhops don't know how to elevate. Somehow, <laughs> in the middle, the elevator got stuck. And you realize you're going to be stuck in this elevator for a few minutes with the other occupants who are there with you. Scrambled bags if you can choose three people of any kind. Now, these could be book characters. These could be musicians, um, hosts from Kids Place Live. Anyone uh, to uh, be stuck in an elevator with for a prolonged and yet still totally safe amount of time. Scrambled bags, who would those three be? First of all, is this a hard question, or did the answers just come, just like your favorite Jonas Brothers, did they come trickling out of your imagination right away? No, this is pretty tough because there's so many people that I would like to be trapped in an elevator with that, um, it's kind of starting to overwhelm me. Um, okay, well, while you're putting it together, just for all the kids and families listening, this never happens unless you happen to be a cast member of a 1980s sitcom. This happened on every TV show in the 1980s, but it's never happened to anyone else ever before. So don't worry. Mm. Elevators, still cool for cats. Okay, Scrabble Bags, I'm going to need the first name. Okay, the first name that I'm going to say is 
Sharpay Evans from High School Musical 1, 2, and 3. Okay, uh, famously, is it famous? Uh, locally famously, we put on a rendition of High School Musical at Life in the Monkey House called High School Music Hail, <laughs> which was all staffed by vegetables and fruits found in the produce section. But uh, I, I think I betrayed during that show, I don't know anything about High School Musical. Who is this Sharpay? Sharpay is... You could say she runs the school, she's blonde, she's sassy, and she wants to be the lead of the musical. And why would that be a good occupant to share an elevator with? Just because you know you're going to be entertained? Yes, because I know she would have a great song, maybe she would have a dance, um, and she would probably be wearing something pink. I'd be wearing something pink. I'd want to feel safe. Magic, magic! Surrounding by, surrounded by pink. You're going to have a team member right there on the elevator with you, and a bonus, you're going to be entertained the whole time. Um, okay, let's go to the audience and see what they think. Audience, wait, what is her name? Sharpay Evans? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> audience, show us Sharpay Evans! <laughs> That's correct, Scrabble Bands! We also want to accept that Sharpay is just the, the general breed of dog. They're show oh. dogs. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to number two. Now, who is the second person you'd like to be stuck in that elevator with? And, and I'm saying you're stuck in this elevator for 15 to 19 minutes. Enough time to kind of hang. I mean, unless you want it to be longer. Okay. Uh, maybe, like, when they open the doors up, you're like, hang on. I want 30 more minutes of this, thank you. <laughs> that, that would be fine. That would be fine. Um, okay, the second person I'd like in the elevator with me is Miss Piggy. <gasps> oh. Great choice. Yes. Also very theatrical. Yeah, I, I want to be entertained, and I want everyone to enjoy themselves. It's a situation that we didn't want to be in. Right. But hey, we got to have fun. I think, I mean, I my family and I have been catching up on the Muppets movies. We uh, just watched uh, The Muppets, the one in 2011 with Jason Segel and Amy Adams, uh, and the sequel, The Muppets Most Wanted. And... Um, <laughs> It kind of seems like a lot of people find themselves in situations with Miss Piggy and realize this was not the best situation to be with Miss Piggy in. She is, she's a lot. You know, as a kid, I used to be called Miss Piggy, my family, for my attitude, and maybe my Dude. antics. So I feel like... Did you refer to yourself as moi? Is yeah. Is that part of it? <laughs> just always kind of feeling a moment um so i just feel like me and miss piggy would really get along okay fair enough audience it would be like it would be like beyonce and whitney houston meeting each other in the elevator whoa audience show us miss piggy yeah. okay very good scramble back You've got a couple of highly theatrical and entertaining uh, Sean Tooses, if I'm using that word correctly, in the elevator, but you've got room for one more person to be stuck with. Uh, who is your number three? My number three person that I want to be stuck in the elevator with is Jack Foreman. Whoa! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! saying stop it but i'm i'm also just saying go on i would love i would love to be stuck in the elevator with jack foreman and miss piggy and sharpay and me so he would see like all my personalities together at once <laughs> yes. and obviously because of our friendship it would have you would have no bias at all but you would see that i really am the biggest deep of them all you know, really everyone in that elevator is perfectly positioned to win because uh, Sharpay Evans, she has the novelty factor. I know nothing about her. You've got the best friend energy, which is going to go a long way for you. But Miss Piggy, I mean, she's a star of the stage and the screen. Who's going to win? I don't know. I like this elevator, though. And I like my odds of making it through entertained. Hot lunch. Tasty as can be. Hot lunch. For you and for me, serving up in just one minute. There's no telling what will be in it. Hot lunch, it's balanced meal. Hot lunch, whatever you feel, hard to know what you will get. Serving up with these hair nets, sit right back and we'll fill you up. Guaranteed to get enough, we'll heal the soul like chicken soup. Mashed potatoes with an ice cream scoop. Hot lunch. Hot lunch, you'll be feeling fine. Hope you're hungry because the time's arrived. It's hot lunch time on 
happy holidays, everybody. I'm Kenny Curtis, bringing you hot lunch over holiday break. Yes, the cafetorium is closed, but we're still here. It's kind of like a skeleton crew. Really, it's just me and my hairnet and of the microwave. So, yeah, we will be nuking up some goodness for you right here on Kids Place Live's Hot Lunch. Happy holidays. Thanks for playing around with us. Do you have a resolution for the New Year's? Have you worked that out, like, what your New Year's resolution is going to be? I always have trouble with this, but I, I, I thought of a good one. I think for me in particular, a couple of good ones. I'm going to try to listen more and talk less. Now, for a DJ and a guy get, that gets paid to talk for a living, this is a big deal. And I'm going to try to think before I speak, which is also a big deal. going to be harder to do. Also, I'm going to chew my food better before I... Like, I'm going to eat slower instead of just, like, like taking three bites and then swallow. I'm going to actually try to chew my food, which is another new thing for me. So, yeah, so that's what I'm working on. I hope you have some good resolutions as well. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. And thanks for playing Kids Place Live. Hot lunch is served.